when I visit schools in central Scotland in my region across Lanarkshire and Falkirk, um, you know, I have the pleasure and privilege of speaking to young people and to teachers and to school staff and, and sometimes parents when they're within the school. Um, and some of the things that I have heard um, have absolutely shocked me to the core. And um, this probably won't be news to, to colleagues here, but I think it's important to get it on the record that when I am in schools, when I'm speaking to teachers and their trade unions, they're giving me examples of hungry children eating pencils in the classroom, eating rubbers, um, you know, going home and not having any food in their bellies until the next day. Now, we talk a lot in this place about closing the poverty-related attainment gap. How can you learn and thrive when you're hungry and you're not getting the nutrition and the nourishment that you need? So I feel there's a moral imperative to not just continue with this policy, but to do so as a matter of urgency. Now, I have been asking the Scottish Government um, since September of last year, when in programme for government they said that we're going to pilot this in secondary schools, as well as progressing at pace in, in primary. Um, and I've been asking many times, journalists have been asking, where are the pilot schemes? Which schools are you speaking to? Which local authorities? Eventually I've had to use freedom of information. And just in the last few weeks, I've had all the responses back from every council, 32 local authorities, and asking them, you know, have any of your schools had any contact? Not one. Not one. So we keep hearing that work is happening between government and COSLA and partners and discussions are happening. It's not happening.